Hi everybody, it's Evan from The Black and Blue, and today I've got a challenge for you. You may notice I'm standing in front of the poster for a movie called Death Race 2000. Now this is one of the, my favorite posters in my entire collection for two reasons. The first is that it's an awesome movie. To me it's the quintessential B-movie genre film. The second is because of what it represents. This movie was produced by a guy named Roger Corman. Now if you haven't heard of Roger Corman, you need to go research him right now. He's the father of some really great filmmakers like Ron Howard, James Cameron, Martin Scorsese. He owned a studio, he still makes movies, he still produces movies, and he gave a lot of people their, their first chances. Now this movie, Death Race 2000, was directed by Paul Bartel, who never really amounted to superstar status like James Cameron. But the point is that Roger Corman used to give filmmakers a chance. He gave them their first shot. And the way he did this is he looked around his studio, or filmmakers would approach him and say, I think I've got the chops. And he would trust them, and he would look in them and see their raw talent and think, uh, you know, this guy can really deliver a film for me. And maybe the movies weren't always that great, they weren't Oscar worthy, but what they did do is they would deliver a product. And, you know, Roger Corman never lost money on, like, any of his movies. And so he was very prolific, and he was always willing to give people a chance. So I love the spirit of Roger Corman. Even if his movies were kind of crappy, I always think they're crappy in a fun way, but he was, he was giving people their first shot. And so it really reflects how I started my career. When I got my first job as second AC, I had no idea what an AC was. I just got thrown into the fire. And by the end of the first 30 days of that feature film, uh, people had no idea that it was my first gig. My second job was as a data wrangler. I'd never done that either. Same thing by the end. My third job was as first AC. I never pulled focus before. But the important thing is that in every one of these instances, I had somebody, somebody like a mentor, who believed in me, who saw maybe my passion, my motivation, my skill, and thought that even though I was uncomfortable in the position, that I would be able to do it. And that is very much what Roger Corman was doing for people like James Cameron. Maybe they hadn't proven themselves, but Roger Corman saw something in them that he knew that they would prepare themselves, that they would try hard. So he threw them into the fire. So my challenge for you today is to apply for a job that's going to make you a little uncomfortable. Now that can mean normally you work on short films, so you're going to apply for a feature. Or normally you work in commercials, so you're going to apply for a narrative piece. Or it could mean applying for a new job altogether, stepping up from second AC to first AC, first AC to cam op, maybe going from a grip to a camera assistant or vice versa. But do something that you're not entirely comfortable in. Throw yourself into the fire and you're, you'll be surprised what you can achieve. And the reason for this is because you're going to prepare like never before, because you're not going to want to screw up. So you're going to try much harder, you're going to be paying attention on set, you're going to be so much more alert to everything going on around you. It's very easy to keep doing the same job and kind of get stuck in a routine and just know day after day what you're doing. But when you step up the next rung of that ladder or when you take another job completely, you're really on your toes again and you'll be surprised what you can achieve. So I hope you take this challenge. Try and do it in the next month if you can. And please email me what happens at evan at theblackandblue.com. I'd love to hear your stories. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Have a great day.